Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Alhamdulillah continuing on in our discussion about istiqamah about being straight on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we're all challenged with so many different challenges our lives are different some brothers are in the gang life and they find it difficult to get out some brothers are in prison and sisters are in prison and they, their life situation is different. Some people are in the university. Their life challenges are different. Some people are in the corporate world. Their life challenges are different. Some people are in, in the villages of Yemen. I know brothers who live in, 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 in small villages in Yemen. Their challenges are different than mine. I'm in Saudi Arabia. My challenges are different. So we all have different uh, places and stations in life. And we're all challenged in our Iman. And we all need istiqama. We all need to walk straight and practice as much as we can, as best as we can. وعن أبي عمر وكيل أبي عمرة سفيان ابن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قلت يا رسول الله كل لي في الإسلام قول لا أسأل عنه أحد غيرك قال قل آمنت بالله ثم استقم رواه مسلم In this hadith of Sufyan ibn Abdullah رضي الله تعالى He said that I said to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم I said, He said يا رسول الله Qultu, Ya Rasulullah. I said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say something to me or tell me something about Islam that I cannot ask anyone else about other than you. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Qul, the Prophet said, Say, I believe in Allah. And then walk straight. Meaning, be practice. And this is related in Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, it shows us, Al-Iman la yakfi fihi naqqa lisan ولكن يجب أن يصدق أن يصدق هو القيام بالأعمال الصالحة. That it is not sufficient for your iman just to just to say it on your tongue. And those who believe that just speaking with their tongue is sufficient, this is the aqida or creed of the murjia of those people who believe. Deeds are not a part of Iman. This is what it means, Al-Irja. And this is an old belief. And this belief was a belief that probably a, 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 came about as a reaction to the Khawarij. Because they have the opposite of the Khawarij, although they share a characteristic with the Khawarij. Because the Khawarij believe, they believe Iman is either full or no Iman. You're either a, a believer or you're a disbeliever. That's it. The Khawarij, they are very... Uh, so with your deeds, if you do a major sin, they make takfir of you. They say you're out of the fold of Islam. You're not a, a, a Muslim. Khalas. So they don't believe that tafadl, a tafawat fil Iman. They don't believe Iman has different levels. Likewise, the murjia, who are on the opposite side of the spectrum, say that uh, Al Iman is either full or it's it's non-existent. So they believe it's sufficient. You say the Shahada Khalas, you're a mu'min, full, camel. Regardless if you're in the club, regardless if you're drinking, regardless if you're doing this and that. They they don't have any exception to that. Khalas, mu'min. And you either are you're either a full mu'min, no matter what you do, or you are a disbeliever, and that comes with basically very stringent, basically, uh, if you say you're a non-Muslim, or you, uh, you know, the other, of course, Jews, Christians, and others, but anyone who says, la ilaha illallah, khalas, it's enough for them that they're full iman. This is the aqidah of the, of irja, in general. So, learn, going back to this hadith, 
it shows us that it's not sufficient just on the tongue to say the Shahada best, and that's it. But, however, it's an obligation that your limbs illustrate that Iman, because it's a part of Iman, that it illustrates it by doing righteous deeds, by doing good deeds. And as the scholars mentioned, that Iman is comprised of three. It's of three. Al-Qawl uh, al-Lisan, wa'amala bi jawarih, wa'amala qalb. So they, they mentioned that Iman... It's a statement of the tongue, so taking a shahada, saying a good word, whatever the case may be, making dhikr, or that it is also, iman is comprised of, uh, 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 of course, the heart, the actions of the heart, tawakkal ala Allah, uh, fearing Allah, taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, khawf min Allah, these are actions uh, of the heart. And then actions of the limbs, doing righteous deeds, praying, giving sadaqah with your hand, with your smile, with whatever the case may be. That all of these, all of those components are a part of Iman. We also learn from this hadith that istiqama, al istiqama la tukun illa. بعد الإيمان باطلا والظاهر that uh, istiqama straightness does not happen unless that the person has iman inside their heart and they outwardly illustrate it they illustrate it outwardly that's what istiqama is is that your istiqama how do we know you have istiqama yes in your heart but also in your limbs through your actions, through the righteous deeds that you do, through your prayer. We see you praying. We see her praying. They, they're doing good deeds. They, they sacrifice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do kindness. They share the message of Islam. They show love outwardly. That these are all a part of Iman and part of showing your istiqama, your straightness. وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قاربوا وسددوا واعلموا واعلموا أنه لن ينجو أحد منكم بعمله قالوا ولا أنت يا رسول الله قال ولا أنا إلا أن يتغمدني وتغمد وتغمدني وَتَغَمَّدَنِي اللَّهُ بِرَحْمَةٍ مِنْهُ وَفَضْلٍ رواه مسلم In the hadith of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى or Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى He said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said قَارِبُوا وَسَدَّدُوا قَارِبُوا refers to having the intention without excessiveness to do something, you know, being ghulu, having extremeness, and without taqseer, and without uh, shortcomings. So you have a strong intention to do something. Qaribu wa saddadu, the Prophet <coughs> said, a sadad refers to istiqama, wal isaba. So the Prophet said that have a strong, uh, a sound niya, sound intention, and strive in righteousness, you know, by doing good works, and know that a person does, is not successful, not one of you is successful by his deeds alone. And then the companions said, not even you, Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet والسلام, said, not even me, uh, except unless Allah covers me or encompasses me with his mercy and his His greatness or his reward. 
And this is in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, we learn many benefits. Qal al-Ulama, the scholars say, the meaning of istiqama, of, 